So I wanted to show you a few details on the LED panel light that I used in the floor lamp retrofit. So this is the listing I purchased the lamp from and this particular listing and seller seems to have all the options available. So he's got all the sizes at least up to the size that I selected. So he's got the 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and 21 watt. They also are sometimes referred to by the diameter of the light. So three, five, six, and seven inch, which is kind of funny because the light that I purchased here, so you can see it's got a 200 millimeter diameter or eight inches. The combination I bought was the 21 watt round light. Overall diameter is a little blocked out in their image, but it's 225 millimeters overall, which is about nine inches. And then I selected the dimmable driver because my floor lamps are dimmable. They have dimming switches in them. And then I also picked warm white because that's the color temperature of the other light bulbs I have in my house. So like I say, this seller has all the options. You can get the three color temperatures. And down below, he's got details on the, the various color temperatures warm white 2700 to 3300. I guess he doesn't list the natural white. I think it's around 4000 Kelvin and then there's a cool white. The funny thing is these various parameters, these watts, the lumens and the dimensions vary between the various sellers. The confusing part is the, this association between the shape and the power and the actual physical dimensions of the light vary. So some sellers call this particular size 21 watts. Some of the other sellers call this same size 18 watts. And in the next video, we can take a look at the actual lamp and see what it really is inside. So I'll put a link to this seller and listing in the video description. And I'll also put a search string that you could use here. So what I searched for is Epistar recessed LED panel light and then I also put in 21 watt and round so that way I get a selection of lights. So Epistar is a Taiwan LED chip maker and they're the ones that make the chips that go in these and they're supposed to be pretty high quality LED chips. They're up on the same quality level as somebody like Cree. They're supposedly pretty decent quality, quite efficient, and they get a lot of light for a given amount of uh, input power. And you can see here's some other listings. They just list by the power. Here's one that shows the watts versus the sizes here. And this guy again has 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24. Now this one, there's actually two sellers here that are kind of interesting. So this guy here has 15, 18, 21, and 24. So let's take a look at this one real quick. Here's this uh, 18 watt round. He lists it as 1440 lumens and it's 200 millimeter cutouts. Because these are recessed ceiling lights, they're sold by the cutout size. So what size hole do you cut in the ceiling to put one of these lamps into? Yeah, the cutout is 200 and then the overall OD of the trim ring is 228. But then if we go up here, He's got a 21 watt, 1680 lumens, and it's 210 millimeter cutout, eight and a half inches, and 240 outside diameter. So my floor lamp shades are 10 and three quarter inches, or 270 millimeter diameter. So this particular lamp here would also fit. There's also this 24 watt, but you can see the cutout diameter or the diameter of the base of the lamp 
is 280, so that would be too big for the floor lamp. But this 21 watt is kind of interesting. So if we go in here, you can see it's not there in the pull down. But if I go here to, let's see, natural white. So you can see he, this seller doesn't have every option available. So he's got the 21 watt round, this eight and a half inch light in natural white, non-dimmable, and it's about $17. A couple of days ago, he only had it in cool white, but today he has cool white and natural white. I am holding out for this one to see if I can get one of these in a warm white. Right now, it's just not available, and he also only has it in non-dimmable. Just as a side light, these are some Cree recessed panel lights. These would not be usable for a floor lamp because they're too thick. You can see how bulky they are. They, they wouldn't fit inside of the shade versus these other ones here fit really nice because they're only about a half inch or 12 millimeter thick. Yeah, here's the other one. This guy also has this 18, 21, and 24. Again, a lot of grayed out options. A few days ago, he had cool white in the 21 watt round, but today, nothing. You need an 18, 21, and 24 watts to get that eight and a half inch light. So you have to kind of search through all these listings. You can't just go by 21 watts. The eight inch, they'll call it 21. Others call that 18. It's really hard to find these. You pretty much have to dig through each listing, click into the listing and see what they have. And then on a particular day, they may or may not have uh, that light. So I'm holding out for this guy here. He's also a USA shipper. It's a little more expensive getting an in-country shipper, but you'll get it in a couple of days versus a couple of weeks. Like I say, these are listed as recessed ceiling down lights. Now I probably wouldn't use one of these as a recessed ceiling down light. So if you want a recessed ceiling down light, you're gonna want something like this perhaps, you know, with a fully integrated sealed unit. Or if we go over here to, uh, this is on Home Depot's website, this is the kind of lamp you would want to put in a ceiling. It's got the junction box for your wiring. The power supply is built in, has a massive heat sink, and it's rated for wet use. So you could use it like in a kitchen or a bathroom and with or without insulation contact. So you could pile insulation over this and it would still be acceptable. It's UL listed, Energy Star rated, compared to you know, one of these lights here, you can see it's got a, a separate power supply. There's no wiring box, nothing sealed. These things, you can't put them in an insulated ceiling. You know, at the most, maybe in a dropped soffit or maybe in the, you know, maybe in a top of a cabinet for down lighting, something like that, or maybe under cabinet lighting. But I probably wouldn't want to use these in, a, in construction and build this into a house. I wouldn't use these as ceiling down lights, but they make a really nice retrofit for a floor lamp. So in the next video, we can take a look at the details, kind of how the lamp's constructed. And uh, right here, I found a data sheet for the LEDs that they use. They use these SMD 2835 LEDs. So these are rated at 200 milliwatts each. And here's the warm white. Here's the color temperatures. They match up 2800 to 3200, 4000 to 4500, and then there's 6000 to 6500. 60 milliamps per chip and 0.2 watts. These are made by Epistar the actual chips. So they put these chips onto flexible tape 
and then put those inside of the lamps. And so we can take a look at that in the next video. So stay tuned for that. And like I said, I'll put all these links in the video description so you can take a look at them yourself. As always, thanks for watching.